head up education in our state. The race for state superintendent is getting ugly. Front runners Janet Barisi and Joy Hoffmeister are pouring money into attack ads. KSCO's Ariel Reshef live tonight with the story. And Ariel, what are parents and teachers saying about this? Well, Jess, the parents and teachers that I talk to say it's time to stop politicizing Oklahoma kids. They're simply just fed up with these attack ads. Joy Hoffmeister claims she's conservative. I support the Common Core. Negative Jennifer political Lisa campaigning, nothing new. But the race for the state's top job in education is now heating up. The Oklahoman reporting current superintendent Janet Barisi is using nearly $1 million of her own money to help finance attack ads. Joy Hoffmeister spending $250,000 on commercials targeting Barisi. Parents and teachers say enough is enough. To be, I would leave out the mud and look at what, what can they bring, what can they prove, what have they done, and what are they saying they're going to do, and what have they said in the past that they're going to do that they actually did. In poor taste, very poor taste. Jason and Kathy say it's time to focus on the issues, not the okay. politics. If you're not looking at what's best for the child, you're only looking to win the race, then you're not the right person for the job necessarily. To me, what, what's important is what's best for the kids. And at the top of the list, Common Core and the Reading Sufficiency Act. I think the biggest thing they need to focus on is teaching the kids how teaching the kids how to learn and stop teaching to the test. I've held the hands of those kids who didn't make it on that RSA test, okay? That was tough to take. So I think that we could do a better job than just slinging mud at candidates. And you know there are seven candidates in the running for state superintendent. Here is a list of them right here on your screen. For more information about each of those candidates, log on to our website, KOCO.com. In the studio, Ariel Reshef, KOCO 5 News. Ariel, thank you. Now, we did reach out to Janet Barisi and Joy Hoffmeister for comment. Hoffmeister told us, quote, Barisi is waging a campaign of lies and deception to distract voters from her failures of the past three and a half years. Superintendent Barisi's office said, quote, by funding a significant portion of her campaign herself, she is free from any encumbrances which may come from donations.